Good day, Ma'am Amelita. I am Roxanne Gay Kamalai from BSN Block 3. I will be doing return demonstration on fundal massage and balloon tampon. Good day, Ma'am. I am your nurse for today. You can call me Nurse Roxanne. May I know your name, Ma'am? Ma'am Max, today I will render a fundal massage to control your vaginal bleeding and encourage uterine contraction. Okay, Ma'am? Thank you, Ma'am. That procedure will help the patient to decrease the anxiety and help to boost self-esteem. Ma'am Max, I would like to assist you to void or urinate first. It is because to lessen the pressure and to avoid discomfort, ma'am. An empty bladder will prevent the displacement of the uterus and it ensures the assessment of uterine tone. After the patient has voided, ma'am, I will now assist you to lie on your bed and with your knee flex. So assuming that the patient is in a knee flex, Proper positioning will enhance visualization and effectiveness of the procedure. And this will provide privacy. So I already put the gloves. Mom Max Payne, I am now going to start to massage your fundus by placing my one hand on your abdomen just above your symphysis pubis while the other hand is top of your fundus. This will anchor the lower uterine segment and allows to locate and to assess the fundus. Ma'am Max Payne, I am now rotating my upper hand to carefully massage your uterus in order to encourage uterine contraction. Massage should be done only when the uterus is not firm. Aggressive massage may lead to partial or complete uterine prolapse. Ma'am Max Payne, I can feel that your uterus is firm. I will now press your fundus between my hands with slight downward pressure against your lower hand. Gently squeezing downward pressure helps to expel blood clots and collect the uterine cavity. Ma Max Pay, please allow me to check your perineum in order to remove the passage of clots and estimate the amount of your bleeding. Okay, ma'am? Thank you for This will help to assess the degree of bleeding of the patient. Ma Max Payne, we're almost done. I will do a fundal massage one more time just to make sure that your uterus is firm. Okay, ma'am? Ma'am, I am now done with the procedure. I will now clean your perineum, okay, ma'am? Now, ma'am, I will now apply um, clean perineal pad. Okay. This will help patients comfort, hygiene, and to prevent infection. So after everything, I will document the result of the procedure and I will continue to assess the fundus, the loci of the patient. I will also um, notify the primary healthcare provider if the fundus doesn't remain firm and if the bleeding continues. So we are now done in fundal massage. If the uterus doesn't remain firm and the bleeding um, continues and it is not effective at all, uh, we will now proceed to balloon tamponing. First, I will gather everything needed in the procedure for easy accessibility. So we have two sterile gloves, povidone iodine, intrafolic catheter, saline solution for irrigation, and 50 cc syringe. Good day, ma'am. I am your nurse again for today. You can call me Nurse Roxanne. Can you state your name? Ma'am, Ma'am, we will be doing emergency management for your postpartum meeting by making a uterine balloon tampon. Okay, Ma'am? I 
will make a balloon and inflate under your kiddos to stop the bleeding. For now, please take a deep breath and stay safe, okay ma'am? This will help to reduce the anxiety of the patient. Ma'am Max Queen, if you can stand up to your knee in the bathroom, I will assist you. If not, and you feel dizzy, I will offer you a bedpan or a catheter to help you to your knee, okay ma'am? can weaken the contraction and will delay the separation of the placenta. After voiding, Mama explain, I will now assist you to lie on your back with your legs apart, okay ma'am? Ma'am, I will now take you and expose only the gynecology part. Okay, ma'am. This will ensure um, easy visualization and provide privacy for the patient. Mama explain, I will now start IV fusion to restore your blood loss and will make medication for your uterus to help to contract. Okay, ma'am? Thank you, ma'am. IV fusion will restore blood loss and create shock. After IV infusion, I will now, so I already wash my hands and we will now put antiseptic solution over the thigh of the patient. Next is I will now put um, sterile gloves of my hands. Now I will start making a uterine balloon tamponade by inflating the folic catheter balloon. I will insert the deflated balloon, then I will inflate the balloon by sterile water up to 500 ml until it can be seen in the cervix. But for now, I will check if the Foley catheter has a leakage. This will check if there is a leakage on inflated balloon. Now, assuming that this is already seen in the cervix of the mother, I will now inflate 500 saline solution. So assuming that this is already 500 ml and it is already in the cervix of the mother, I will now clamp it. Then, then I will take this on the thighs of the mother. So after the procedures, I already removed the gloves and washed my hands. I will continue to monitor the vital signs, the urine output, the vaginal bleeding, the fundal height, and the amount of blood loss. And lastly, documentation. I will document the procedures on the nurse's notes. Mama, Spain, thank you so much. That's all for today. Thank you, ma'am.